Hey Panuka family, this is yours truly, uh, Mr. Panuka, this time coming to you from Johannesburg, South Africa. So on the 6th of uh, February 2023, I was invited together with other you know, farmers in Zambia, the Stakai South Africa Field Day for 2023. And what you see here is basically some of the visuals um, you know, of this event. So apparently Stakai is, you know, happens to be one of our, you know, largest suppliers of the various, you know, seed that we plant at Panuka Farm. And so it was just befitting that um, we also, you know, get to this event and, and basically just see the different, you know, activities that were being uh, exhibited. So here what you see, um, some cabbage, you know, varieties that were in the exhibition, you know, hall. And then we proceeded to the uh, cabbage, you know, demo sites. This cabbage apparently actually, you know, when you see it in, you know, real time, it was much bigger than you can actually see, you know, um, you know, on this video. Very, you know, lovely, you know, fields, well done. Uh, so we got to interact with the, you know, growers uh, to just get to understand the different varieties, the spacing and stuff like that. I uh, guess you are actually seeing some very lovely, you know, uh, you know, product here, lovely heads. Um, and then we proceeded to also look at the different, you know, kinds of, you know, lettuces that, uh, uh, you know, Stakai's has. Um, apparently, as you may recall, you know, um, you know, lettuces are one of the major, you know, uh, lines that we actually grow um, at Panuka Farm. Of course, you know, the market demand dictates exactly what kind of lettuce we grow. Uh, back, you know, in Lusaka, you know, Zambia, generally the iceberg, you know, lettuce, the cabbage-like, you know, lettuce, is the one that's got you know the the leading you know demand and that's what we grow you know a lot more uh compared to these freely you know fancy you know lettuces but beautiful uh stuff that's sotero there the purple uh you know fancy lettuce and there's me <laughs> obviously this was some kind of agricultural you know tourism so yeah took time to also take some photos uh in these fancy beautiful you know fields um, at the demo sites, lovely, lovely scenes, and uh, we, we had a good time. Obviously, from an agronomy perspective, we can actually see completely um, weed free. So, next up, um, we looked at you know the different kinds of uh, you know peppers, new varieties coming through. Um, if you are a follower of uh, you know Panuka Farm, uh, you actually know that Duke and Diva have been you know our all time you know favorites, but there's new varieties that are actually coming up. And so we also got to see how they grow some of seemingly, you know, OPV, you know, varieties, good tracing, um, looking beautiful. Uh, obviously, some of the other varieties that we grow, like Duke and Diva, they grow much, much taller than, uh, you know, this Jupiter that's, um, you know, on display here. But this this is quite lovely, good canopy. And the fact that it's actually being grown under shed net, obviously, that reduces um, the impact of, you know, sun scout um, on this crop. Guess you can also see the mulch there that is sorting out um, the weed. So the next you know crop that um, we looked at were different varieties of you know carrots, um, and there is me with some of my colleagues that I travelled with uh, from Zambia, pausing, looking at some of the different you know uh, carrots you know varieties, and then we later went to the demo fields uh, to look at the different you know um, you know carrot you know varieties and how they're you know, growing beautiful, you know, fields. Um, so if you are a grower of, uh, you know, carrots, uh, certainly I think these are the kind of, you know, varieties that you probably can, you know, look at. Um, but yeah, um, quite some very lovely, you know, scenery, uh, looking at the setup, you know, uh, bed preparation, um, and, and how the different, you know, varieties, you know, are performing, So after checking out, um, you know, the carrot varieties, we looked at, uh, you know, butternut. This is a new entrant at Panuka Farm. So we're keenly, you know, uh, interested in looking at the different, you know, varieties, how they're performing. Uh, in September of 2022, we actually tried quite a number of these varieties. Um, look at me pausing with one of the very gigantic, you know, uh, you know, butternut, you know, varieties. And, um, you know, look at the size of the fruit. So, yeah. I was certainly quite mesmerized looking at the different, you know, kinds of butternut, you know, um, varieties. And then next shifted attention to the pumpkins. 
this is also another new you know entrant at panuka farm too so we're keenly you know looking at the different you know varieties some of them we actually did you know try them uh in 2022 uh so yeah we we, we actually you know came up with some um options uh, obviously we couldn't avoid you know looking at the the melons um, obviously, this is not something that we are actually actively, you know, farming. But hey, we had to, you know, just um, have a look. Zucchini squash is something that we used to grow, but then we had a bout of mosaic, you know, virus. So we took time to also look at, you know, the different, you know, varieties um, on the zucchinis. Then up next was tomato. This is not something that uh, we actively farming, but again, you can't resist, you know, looking at, you know, tomato. Uh, always attractive. This is something that we actually farmed in our first, you know, two to three years of our farming. But hey, um, yeah, we came out of it um, and concentrated on other lines. But here you are. Um, I think Trinity um, is a variety that actually mesmerized, I think, everybody um, when we were looking at, you know, the different, you know, demo, you know, plots. So for the tomato lovers, um, that's obviously something that you can um, look at. You know, the fact that uh, the pricing for tomato, you know, behaves like an exchange rate sometimes is what basically puts, you know, people off. Um, yeah. But hey, um, here are some cherry, you know, tomatoes as well, uh, looking very good. Um, the price for cherry tomatoes is always very good, but perhaps the demand in terms of quantity, not that much. Obviously, you know that, uh, you know, uh, sweet corn is one of the major lines that has actually come up at Panuka Farm. So we actually got to look at the different, you know, um, varieties uh, of uh, sweet corn. What you actually see here is what we grow. This is actually our product, well packaged, uh, with its new, you know, sister entrant, you know, baby corn. So this is how it looks like when we actually pack. And that's the more reason we were, you know, keenly, you know, interested in looking at the different varieties of um, sweet corn. So star 7719 is now our darling. Uh, we used to plant, you know, a variety called Asegai, but it's kind of come out of the market. Apparently, um, the demand has actually gone down in South Africa, which is the origin. So uh, Invictus and 7719 are now our newest, you know, options in terms of uh, sweet corn. So we also had an opportunity to just get to understand, you know, the quality and assurance, you know, processes uh, of Stakai's in terms of, you know, seed production. Um, germination and all that and um, yeah one of the ladies took time to explain you know to us um, you know the you know different you know quality you know control mechanisms that actually um, happen so here's a snippet of what you know she had to see. see hybrid seed so what we will do is we will first germinate the seed in this lab you can see some of them that have already been germinated on that side so we germinate the seed and then we sample the root material after sampling the root material, we'll dry it overnight, and then we then start with our DNA extraction process. So this is the sample prep lab. We have a high-tech biotech lab where we have instruments that assist us with all of the processes that we do. So we will test um, the seed packet, and we just want to make sure that it's the correct genetic variety. Next up, we had uh, you know uh, an opportunity to look at the actual you know, seed, you know, packaging after all those, you know, quality control, you know, measures have been done. So here we looked at the uh, onion, you know, packaging line. Yeah, quite, you know, very interesting, you know, um, you know, setup. Then after, you know, uh, looking at the onion, you know, um, you know, packaging setup, we had an opportunity to also observe how, you know, beetroot, you know, packaging uh, was being done. Again, you know, just getting mesmerized by what, you know, technology and mechanization can actually do, uh, obviously to, you know, improve, you know, efficiency, uh, obviously the, the packaging uh, all done, you know, by the machine, the counting and sealing, uh, quite some very, you know, lovely, you know, um, you know spectacle. Um, and then from that line, we also looked at, um, you know, green beans, you know, packaging that was also, you know, ongoing on another line. Um, so quite some serious, you know, multitasking, you know, going on here at, uh, you know, Stuckeyes. Um, thereafter, obviously, once, you know, the packaging is done, we got to see where the storage is actually done. And then we also got some explanations in terms of, um, you know, the temperatures at which, you know, different kinds of seed must actually be stored at. 
you know, also the issue of handling, um, the fact that certain, you know, seed like beans, if you actually drop it, even in the field, or if you roughly handle it, uh, you actually, you know, affect, you know, the, the germination. So, you know, those kind of insights were actually quite, you know, uh, very good. Um, and obviously at the end, we also took time to just, um, you know, pause for some photos together with the rest of, you know, the team that we traveled with um, from um, Zambia. Um, yeah, it was quite a very, you know, lovely, um, you know, uh, trip uh, to Johannesburg to just see what, you know, Staka is, you know, does with their, you know, seed uh, production uh, process. So as you look at my, you know, posing skills on photos, um, I can only encourage you to ensure that you actually attend some of these events quite often. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, insights that you actually uh, pick up. Have a lovely one. Bye-bye.